So one of the other big requests for me to do was to read The Sims patch notes. And looking at them now, I can see why. So let's go ahead and read some of these. 2009 patch notes. Fix for babysitter routing off lots with babies. Fix for a freeze that can occur when Sims attempt to clean out bad food from the fridge. Babies will no longer be born to single parents. Oof. Reduce the urge for neat Sims to put away five pits. Sims can no longer interview non-playable ghosts. Sims no longer have the rare chance of getting permanently stuck while socializing. Oh, God. Become enemies of child, which no longer appears. Prevented a case where toddlers were allowed to escape a lot and wander freely. Eating specific prepared meals no longer has an impact on unborn babies' gender. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fish are no longer duplicated in the fridge when moving homes. I didn't even know that was a glitch. Televisions no longer play video after they are burnt or broken. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> that sounds right. <laughs> Sims can no longer try for baby with the grammar. <laughs> oh my god. Why are these patches? Okay. This is 2009. Let's do, let's do 2010. It's a few of them. <clears throat> Fixes a bug that causes Sims to teleport off some of the new beds in SP01. Okay. Fixes an issue that causes Sims to get stuck in the grab a slice interaction on a pizza. I mean, that's not a glitch. You gotta cherish that moment when you grab that pizza, you know what I mean? Fixes an issue that prevents the fulfillment of the buy a video game system wish when buying the Guga? GOGA Joy Toy 3 and Console 7 video game systems. Eh. Sims may now walk and stand on bridges. I mean, that was a problem before. Dead relatives will no longer appear alive in your Sims family tree while traveling to Egypt, China, or France. Oof. Okay. Fire engines will now maintain all functionality after Sims drive them in Egypt, China, or France. <laughs> that was an issue? Okay. Fixed an it. Why? Fixed an issue that caused Sim relationships to break when traveling to Egypt, China, or France. Why? Why are there so many glitches in these three countries? I don't understand. <laughs> okay. Sims will no longer walk on water to view paintings placed on swimming pool walls. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> I would love to see that scenario. Like, hey John, check out that new painting I put it across the swimming pool. Alright, let me just go over there. <laughs> John, are, are you walking on water? Oh my god. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fix an issue where ghosts could become stuck in vehicles under certain conditions. Ghosts will now properly exit vehicles after arriving at their destination. Okay. <laughs> could the ghost just not fly? Why are they getting in a car? Oh, God. Why? All right. 2011 is the last one for this. Okay. I'll do more. I'll definitely do more because these are fucking hysterical. But. 2011. Toddlers can no longer get leaves. <laughs> Why was that a problem? <laughs> Baby Sims will no longer become stuck on a Sims hand while driving a car. <laughs> good. Good. That's a good patch. When adopting a dog, you will now be shown whether the dog is a little dog or a large dog. That's actually a really good patch now. You want your big dog or you want your small dog? Babies and toddlers will no longer go into a frozen state when a social worker comes to take them when they're being pushed in strollers. <sighs> wow! Okay, okay, okay. Sims that have been turned into a ghost will no longer receive an extra diploma. Come on, man. I want my bachelor's degree in ghosts. Don't take it away from me. The throw a teen party wish will no longer appear while a teen party is already planned. No. I want two teen parties. I want two. I want this one and I want a teen after party. Let me have that one. Don't give me back Matt Wish. <clears throat> Ghost Sims will now remain floating when returning from birth. <laughs> I have so many questions. Why is the ghost going to boarding 
skull. And why is that the factor in which it makes him float? Why? <laughs> oh my god, I'm fucking crying. <laughs> okay. Children and teens can no longer die from motive failure while on a timeout. <laughs> wow! I didn't even realize that children and teens could die in The Sims. <laughs> what the fuck? God, Skyrim doesn't even let the kids die. Okay. An issue has been fixed that causes unicorns to lose their special powers when using a make-all happy cheat. Oh. Now oh, they're just a goofy horse with a horn. That's sad. Okay. Two more. Two more. An error that causes Sims to reset when scooping a dead fish out of an aquarium has been fixed. I mean, I like fishes. I never imagined that I would glitch out so hard I would have to reset my whole life for a dead fish. But okay. All right. Last one. Make it a good one. Sims who are on fire will no longer be forced to attend graduation before they can put themselves out. <laughs> I couldn't even make it through. I immediately started thinking, like, in this day and age, how stressful it is to get a college degree. You could actually be on fire and you'd be like, no, nah, man, I gotta get this degree because fuck it, I have already spent like. $120,000 to go to college. I want this piece of paper in my hand. Put me out later. I want my degree in business administration. Just let me have it. Oh, wow. That was a journey. Wow, I'm still fucking crying. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely reading more of these. These guys, these are just so funny. Oh, and I know there was more patches for 2010 and 2011. I'm going to read more of those. But hopefully the next one will be the rest of those. And it will jump to like 2012 and 2013. Because I can only imagine things get more ridiculous from there. <laughs> okay. I'm going to grab a drink. Throat hurts from laughing too hard. Bye.